storage account so how are we going to access the storage account by using the access keys okay via the storage explorer so uh, I'm just going to uh, download the storage explorer so you have Azure storage explorer right so this is something where you can view the uh, your storage accounts in a, in a very authentic way by, you, by using the GUI format so just go and download it so I have already downloaded the Azure Storage Explorer I'm just not going to download it here I'm just going to open the Storage Explorer coming to the so where do you find the access keys so come down So I'm just go to your storage account and you have access keys click on the access keys okay so you have two keys which is generated so, so this is like a very dangerous key so you should not share this key to anyone so if a person knows the storage account key values then they would be able to hack your storage account and do the all the malicious activities so this is like an so powerful key so this should not be shared to anyone right so using these keys we can try to access the storage account from the storage explorer okay so what i'm going to do is i have opened my storage explorer and click on the storage account so by using the account name and keys so click on it go on next and what should be the display name ht01 I'm just giving so what is going to be account name I will give my account name so this is my account name so yeah ht01 log up and what is my account key show the keys take the key copy it paste it here click on next connect so you could see the account storage account name and you could see all the block containers file shares queues and tables listed here click on the block containers so you could see a demo container so inside the demo container I have just created a dummy .html file so I have just go to the storage account here go to the containers so and you could see the dummy dot html file here okay so that's the file that you are able to view it in the storage account so here you can download it and you can open it you can delete it and whatever what you can just do it here so this is how you access your storage accounts or the files inside the storage account by using the access keys so um, access keys is one of the so uh, sharing the access keys is not the preferred way suppose someone wants to wanted to access your storage account sharing the access key is not a preferable way right so that's what I was saying if someone wants to access your storage account you need not share the access keys you can go ahead and create a shared access signature here right shared access signature and you can share them with a the token so that's how they will need to access your accounts so suppose consider if your keys are compromised what are you going to do are you going to delete your account storage account no that should not be the case right so Azure provides an opportunity uh, if your storage account key one is compromised then you can go ahead with the key two if suppose both of the keys has been compromised you can rotate the keys you can just regenerate your keys the current key will become immediately invalid and is not recoverable so do you want to regenerate the keys okay suppose if your keys are compromised you can just regenerate it so now I'm just not going to regenerate it now 
So this is how you create your storage account and access it with your account keys and even you can access via by using the the connection string as well so i have just connected via the keys now i will tell you like how to connect via the, by using the connection string so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to uh, detach this storage account i'm going to reconnect it again just a second just closing everything um, connect uh, storage account service um, a connection string so just click on next and you just provide the display name st02 and provide the connection string so just copy the connection string and paste it here click on next connected so it's getting connected via the connection string as well so the, the both either the ways you can connect your storage accounts um, and you can access your files right okay so this is how we access the storage accounts via the account key or with the connection string so in the next video we'll see how to access your storage accounts by using the shared access signatures right thank you thank you for watching